In this week's Wildlife News Brief, can ferrets help with the Ebola crisis? Find out where illegal wildlife products end up, whale sharks in the Red Sea, and the slowest police chase ever. All this and more, this is your Two Minute Major News Roundup. Birds in Michigan are facing a deadly blast from the past, DDT. The pesticide was banned in the United States more than 40 years ago, but just the poisonous residue found at old production sites is enough to kill the songbirds, and it's doing just that. Scientists at CISRO's Australian Animal Health Laboratory are playing their part in a global effort to tame the highly infectious Ebola virus. The team hopes ferrets will help them develop a cure as they react to viruses similarly to humans. But since no one has put Ebola into a ferret before, we don't know exactly what will happen. On to a bit of happy news. Not one, but two of the world's rarest big cats, Amor leopards, were born at Twycross Zoo. Experts estimate that there are less than 50 of these leopards left in the wild. Speaking of zoo life, a giant panda in eastern China's Hongshan Zoo is apparently suffering from stress after having to endure a group of square dancing grannies in front of its cage. In fact, it's been a week of bizarre animal news. A dead koala with a $50 note stuffed in its mouth was dumped outside of a Victoria police station. Koalas often wind up in the road and are killed accidentally. It's suspected that the money was an apologetic offering. And then there's the case of the LA cops who spent last Saturday hot on the heels of a 150 pound tortoise who went AWOL. It took two officers to get this heavy guy into custody, but he was eventually reunited with his family. From land to ocean and a newly described gathering of whale sharks. A research team found hundreds of juvenile whale sharks gathering on coral reefs off the coast of Saudi Arabia, much like they do off the coast of Mexico. And if you've ever wondered where shark fins and other confiscated illegal products end up, well, in the States, they all go here, a giant wildlife warehouse in Colorado. Take a tour on earthtouchnews.com. We're wrapping up with a seal pup joining in on some surfing fun. The little guy was probably taking a rest on the board or avoiding a predator, but we have to admit it's a cool encounter. Have an awesome wildlife story? Don't forget anyone can contribute to Earth Touch. Head on over to the website for details. See you next week.